In this chapter, we'll see how this course is organized. So basically, this course starts with introduction to Ember.js and then we cover the following top. The first one being the architecture of Ember.js and its core components like templates, routing, models, views, routers, controllers, and routes, adapters, components, and then custom views. We also cover how we can create an Ember CLI application. Since Ember.js has been for quite some time now, we have applications developed in many versions of it. Now this course makes use of examples in such a way that you'll find it comfortable enough to work with any version of Ember.js. In the end, we also cover pre-compiling our templates using grunt tasks. During the course, we also develop a website which showcase a site which sells courses to better understand the concept and see how it works in real applications. Now over here, there are two approach that's there to create an Ember application. The first one being Ember CLI based applications, which you can create by running a command like run Ember CLI. The other one is the custom approach and we have taken the custom approach. We do show how to create an Ember CLI application, but the major part of this course goes through custom approach. So we have used a custom approach to develop the Ember web application, which gives us freedom to organize our stuff as required. If you feel like using Ember CLI application, which already provides a predefined structure to the whole application, you can do so. All you're required to do is place respective files inside their directories. For instance, templates file will go inside the template directory and components will go inside templates or slash components directory. Usually the files which are templates ends with .hbs extension. If we would have just covered the Ember CLI approach, it would have been difficult for us to understand how earlier versions of Ember.js work. Now, that's also one of the reasons why we choose to go with the custom approach rather than with Ember CLI. And this way, you will be easily able to deploy your Ember web applications as well. So let's start exploring the amazing world of Ember.js.